you are. It doesn't work. Huh? Have we met? I thought so. Well, I would know if we had. I can even remember things that haven't happened yet. Hmm. Then maybe it does work. What works? The prophesying. I foresee things. Well, welcome to the club. And I speak with our maker. <laughs> Please leave the club grounds immediately. Don't worry. At the moment, I don't do either. Chiseler's block. I'm stuck on the fourth and three quarters commandment. Four and three quarters? Yes. The, the, the third one ended up being quite long. So what? Who cares? But the space on the stone is limited. And then there are the high localization costs. And still you talk and talk. Originally, it was just going to be three commandments. But I've got the feeling it's missing a good conclusion. A blessing in disguise. You ran into just the right man. Okay, how about thou shalt never carve things in stone? Oh, I like that. It's succinct, and it has that self-ironic nod and a wink that you only usually find in the title of hip-hop records. So, what do you think? Perfect. We should present it to the audience. He looks like someone who sleeps under a bridge, but then where did he get the curtains? Ladies and gentlemen, Let's give a warm welcome to Hobo Moses! <laughs> Thou shalt not write things in stone! <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. The perfect conclusion for the series. I think you should do another one. Don't you think it leaves too many questions open? Right. For example, what happened to those neighbors? They appeared in the Second Commandment and are never mentioned again. I thought as much. Maybe you shouldn't have carved it in stone. Now you need another commandment to reconcile you with your community. I only ever wanted to be loved! So you need a vision. Well, here's one you could have. Aha! I can't make out anything. I know, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know it's blurred. See, that's the temporal jet lag. The last time I slept, is uh, in 10 hours. Don't get me wrong. I think it marvelous. Being explicit only makes you vulnerable. It looks like a tunnel out of one and the same picture. You can't make out where it stops or where it begins. That has something to do with the feedback loop. Yeah, perfection! I think I now know what the final commandment should be. Now, I just need a way to carve it in stone without violating the never carve anything in stone clause. Here, take my chisel. I have no need for it anymore. Washable? Watercolors? Perfect. Now I can finally complete the last commandment. Hey, boys. Something's going on up there. Hey, has he chiseled his beard to something again? No, it's a new commandment. Really? What does it say? The last thing I will tell you, son, the show must certainly go on. Wow. And that's what we've been waiting for all this time? I'm so disappointed. You also have a sudden desire to go back to Heldega to massacre religious zealots? We should definitely reconsider reconsidering our lives. Exactly. The show must certainly go on. You said it. Here, here. Hey there. Are you talking to us? You need a job? I can think of one. Let's hear it. 
We've been gathering dust for long enough. To be honest, I don't really know if it's up your alley. It's about the search for a ring. Go on. A beast has stolen it and fled with it into the depths of a labyrinth. Well, we have certainly accepted worse quests. Certainly better than that promo job for baby food at Wrinkley's. What are we waiting for? The time has come, my faithful companions. Too long have we allowed the powers of darkness to spread death and terror. Are you ready to raise your swords for the final, all-important battle? Is that thing over there supposed to be the labyrinth? I'll interpret that as an enthusiastic charge! Are you ready for the battle to end all battles? For the fight of all fights? For the cream of all creams? For the punch of all Judies? Hey, we haven't spoken about our reward yet. For glory and honor! Did he say glory or slotty? We'll have to chance it. The ring in his hand, he remembered the brave comrades who had fallen in battle. Ugly hat guy, <laughs> the other guy, and... Did I forget anyone? Yes, yes, yes. Are you ready for another fight against injustice? Mm. How about the flying cheers for a change? Oh yes, please, please. One more charge, comrades! One more charge! Next time, click me. The ring in his hand, he remembered the brave comrades who had fallen in battle. Ugly hot guy, the other guy, and... Did I forget anyone? Yeah, who cares?
Don't move. Wait, what are you gonna do? Don't move also applies to your drool dispenser. I protest. Ow, oh, don't be such a baby. It's like tearing off a Band-Aid. Just with a hammer and chisel, that's all. No! If Whoa! you miss the water, don't forget to roll. Oh, ooh. Why don't people ever listen all the way through to the end of the sentence? decided to show up. Well, who would have thought it? After you almost managed to kill me. Ah, there was never the slightest danger. You were hanging over the river. Directly above the site where beavers had constructed a dam out of rusty nails. That still counts as river. I think I need a doctor. Well, life isn't the bargain bin. For example, I needed a reliable assistant. And now look in the mirror. Precious trinket. I picked it up on Elysium. <laughs> you charmer. So, what's your plan? Porta Rustica is only a few hours upriver. If we can prevent your departure, nobody can turn back time in Kuvak this evening. Could get very tight. I'll already be departing from there at dawn. Now yeah, that's taken care of. I've arranged for a boat. All we need is a romantic photo of Gole and me. And where is she? And what is that there? The cast is up to the director, okay? You operate the camera. Right? Ready yet? Okay, let's do this. Just press the shutter button. Camera ready. Cheese! Hey, boys! Good news! I've managed to persuade Pimpy. Look strange, but uh, is that supposed to be me? What sort of perverted games are you playing here? But I, I only uh, push the button. <laughs> it's it's part of my plan to. Uh, I I don't want to know. Just the boat is ready. Hurry up. Women, eh? Just shut up, Big Mac. Just like the sea, baby. Just as deep and as wide, I agree. There are sharks, creek, and venomous eels, and terrors completely unknown. Lurking. Honey. Come on, don't dawdle. Don't you get it? We're too late. Look, the sun has almost set. My other me left here hours ago. Oh yeah? And then why am I in such a hurry? Because you are a complete idiot. How long do we have until the time reset? Let's see. The sun has just set on Elysium. Root of Deponia's radius plus the height of Elysium's orbit, I estimate about two hours after sundown. Damn, I almost wish we were back in the time machine. Hmm. Well, actually my lab has everything I would need in order to... Junior? You've got some nerve! Into my office immediately! Step on it, 
quiet at the kiddie table. The adults are talking. Psst, Lupus. That's the Dean. The Dean is a dwarf? My name is Dean Angus McChronicle Sr. Senior? <laughs> Vice Senior is probably more like it, if that. McChronicle would certainly have told me if he had a son. But I don't. May I introduce to you <laughs> my father? Yes, of course. And I'm the new guest lecturer. Then why are you still standing around? What are you waiting for? To the lecture hall! No, 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 not so quick. I think there's something we need to discuss in peace and quiet. Hello, class. Hello! So, do you have any questions? I certainly do. Uh, what molar mass does a chronoparticle have? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, anyone else? Uh, how do 4D glasses work? Okay, 4D, certainly. Uh, 3D and 2D have certainly become household names. How can deterministic and non-deterministic theories of time be made compatible? Not with a hasty reply, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, where is McChronicle? Yeah, McChronicle. Moo moo moo. Boo! Pants isn't here, and I have to go as well. Occupy yourselves for the meantime. All these theoretical questions won't help you in the real world anyway. Haldica wasn't discovered from a desk either. Even your beloved McChronicle knew that and worked on a real time machine. You wouldn't happen to know where I can find it. Is this it? Oh, that is just a tachyon compressor. It creates an anomaly that simulates interim time. So, it's a simulator. Where can I find the actual device? If McChronicle was working on something, then it would definitely be in his shed. But no one is allowed in there. The Dean locked it and pocketed the key. And that brings us to today's first lesson. The lock has never been built, whose secrets Professor Rufus couldn't uncover. Write that down. It might be on the exam. Platypus basket. I wonder what it's used for. Come on, get in there, you. <laughs> oh, quit your whining. Your old cage didn't smell any better. So. Pay close attention. Moment, moment, moment. I think I missed it. Uh, will that be in the exam? Boo! Take it easy now. Nothing can happen until I uh, press here, right? Aha! Uh -huh. And what is that? That's a temple anomaly. A new layer in space-time that possesses all the known characteristics of interim time. I see. Like a balloon. Slowly being filled. No, not like a balloon in any way at all. Why not? I like balloons. Remember, observe the anomaly, take notes, and give me a good evaluation at ratemyprof.org. The plant smells like Lonzo's back room whenever that thrash metal band comes to visit. Ooh. Huh, 
photos of baby wombats. The pony of four walk through for sale. Hey, that looks interesting. Do you want to share my lunch with me? <laughs> Love to. I'm hungry. Now all I have to do is find this romantic ninja. Does one of you by any chance go by the name of Romantic Ninja? Uh, Mr. Rufus, please don't. You're Romantic Ninja? How embarrassing. <laughs> Did you know that he's a Romantic Ninja? That according to this note, he bears the black belt in the arts of love. Oh, the ground would just swallow me up. No, we didn't know that. Mama. That must be because he merges with the shadows of loneliness. Or so it is written by him. Luckily, I found this note. Because if you are threatened on the battlefield of love, which apparently applies to me. Threatened? My katana has ripped your heart to shreds. He offers the following. Do you want to share my lunch with me? Here, you can have it. I've lost my appetite. Thank you, Romantic Ninja. Your courage and generosity will not be forgotten. Now what would happen if I were to hold this lunch in there? Me, me, me! Uh, time passes much quicker in the anomaly than outside, so the sandwich will get old! Well, anyone could have foreseen that. Now it's only good for duck food, and I have to cut my fingernails again. Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middleman. On the scaffold. Good bait catches fine fish, unless you're into worms, in which case you can cut out the middleman. Monocle? My name's Norbert, Professor. Nerdbert? I can remember that. And your answer is... 
the inflow of energy caused the expansion of the anomaly to increase. Now, inside simulated interim time. And then all of a sudden, time just flies by. Momo, 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 Momo. She said only inside the bubble. Correct answer, but points off for interrupting, Underbite Valkyrie. Her name is Hildebrand. <laughs> Her parents were jokers, were they? No, Scraplanders. She's an exchange student. And I'm Daniel Glangular. And am I supposed to remember that now, or what? Yippee! School's out! Uh, don't you want to turn the anomaly off first? Lesson two, never want to do something that somebody else can do. Just when it was getting exciting. Boo! Everything comes to an end. Get used to it. And? Were you able to stem the damage that my son has wreaked upon those poor students? Stem? <laughs> I eradicated it. Which damage were you referring to? Those stupid ideas about time travel, of course. Junior claims, in all seriousness, to be able to create time anomalies. He says he's built a machine in his shed that can travel back and forth through time. And then he holds lectures on the subject behind my back. Thankless firebrand. Firebrand? He always seemed to me to be so careful, downright boring. Ugh, I wish. Imagine it. My son, of all people. A dreamer. A fantasist. Yes, an anarchist. Honestly? Huh. Birds don't need warning signs. They're free. Free. And if they want to fly into stained glass windows, they have the right to do so. Ha <laughs> ha! It is so a pipe. You can't pull the wool over a Rufus's eyes. right now. Oh, strong stuff, this tobacco. It, uh, <laughs> it reminds me of my college days. We were so crazy back then. So, Lola Cuckoo! <laughs> this is very good for us. We experimented with everything. <laughs> Plants, time, and with women, of course. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to hear that. Mrs. McCronicle was one hot chick. <laughs> ah, too much information. I was even more crazy than he is today. My mother didn't like it at all. She never wanted me to go to university. I was supposed to take over my father's business in the garage. Rocco McChronicle. He said playing with time would only end in tears. What my butt for my girlfriend. I was already 25. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> May I? I don't know. If you may, I may, right? Uh, sure. Yippee! Psst! 
McDiaper pants. Your father is distracted. We can go. Go without me. He's right. I need to think about my errors. No, he isn't. There are temporal anomalies. I know. We created them, and as a result, ruined everything. Why, and your plan is to give up now? When everything is at its worst? Don't you understand? It's always at its worst. This here is no loop. It's a downward spiral. else would have been a disappointment to be honest. Oh boy, this looks just a touch more complicated to me. Something tells me that for once I'm actually gonna require a little assistance. Oil. Somehow I had expected liquid brine. Ah, you're still here. Of course, Mr. Rufus. After all, we are on the cusp of an epical discovery. And anyway, there are junk ball jocks waiting outside the lecture hall again. They'll have to wait. We are going on an excursion. Pack your things. We're off to... Ma, ma, ma. The neighboring building. Thanks, Hildebrain. Somewhat misplaced, but you still get a start. Wow! Cool! Whoa. Impressive, isn't it? What is it? Me, me, me! Ah, nerd bird? Oh, an impulse induced tachyon field generator? Mm -hmm. Popularly known as a. anyone? Perhaps a chubby over there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Time portal machine? Time portal machine, precisely! Because it creates a time portal. But where? Of course, the interim time, the turquoise tunnel, as we experts also call it. And now, for the master question, how to turn that thing on? Turn it on? But, uh... All right, people, I want discussion. Mm. Mm, that thing at the front must be the tachyon tank. But the milk bottle with the bicycle pump? You need a substance that emits tachyons. Ugh, by the smell, I'd say it used to be safe better cheese. And you have to adjust the nozzle so they concentrate on the thinnest place in space-time. You can detect a so-called potential portal with 4D glasses. 4D glasses? Feta cheese? Anything else? You're not intending to open a portal into interim time, are you? And why not? The Chronicle says it's too dangerous. It can perforate the whole of space-time. Oh, hogwash. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. You can't win if you don't buy a ticket. Uh, will that be in the exam? Someone was chewing gum in my class and didn't give me any, except for the fresh box lunch. It's gonna rain homework. And are you coming along? Well, I can't see the sense in that. Uh, was that a yes or a no?
Away with the stuff. I don't know much about the production of nicotine gum, but I have chewing gum, and that contains nicotine. Should work, right? Nicotine chewing gum? Oh boy, oh boy! I've just realized that I've got the munchies! Wait, I'll just put my toothy pegs back in. And... strike! <laughs> What's going on? My mucous membranes are swelling up! Oh, anaphylactic shock! It's my goat's hair allergy! My eyes are burning! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! You finally hit something dead on! <laughs> my sense of humor. Hey, stay away from our junk ball training bag. I already told you, that's a goat. Where do you think the bleeding comes from? From my wife, of course. She's always bleeding on at me. Claim with that my sports things are actually animals, nuns, or, or the neighbor's children. But how, pray tell, would a goat manage to get down here to the underwater palace? <laughs> okay, suppose that it isn't a goat. Can I still milk it? Of course, help yourself. But be careful, sometimes they bite. Never lose those spectacular spectacles again, courtesy of Rufus's patented sticky spags. Ta-da! I present to you the 4D glasses! Makes potential time portals visible and raises cinema admission prices by the power of two! I present to you the 4D glasses! Makes potential time portals visible and raises cinema admission prices by the power of two! Who can tell me what this is? Are those supposed to be 4D glasses? It is a set of 4D glasses. Is that stained glass from a window? Don't touch! That is a highly sensitive, scientific whatnot. kind of ring. Oh, I know! That must be a place where the dimension membrane between here and interim time is especially thin. Not thinner than your derivation, nerdo. <laughs> exactly, Hildy. It's in the middle of the machine. Oh, good. Then we don't need to calibrate it at all. <laughs> Fortune has changed sides. Now the idiots are completely screwed.
people can tell me why it's a good idea to put feta cheese into the tank. You probably built some 4D glasses and realized that the cheese emits tachyons, right? And now, the follow-up question. What color are tachyons? In my mama. Uh, she means pink. Then it is proven. Feta cheese emits tachyons. Write that down. There! The portal is open! But that's way too small. Maybe there isn't enough pressure on the tachyon jets. More pressure? <laughs> no problem. I'm a professional when it comes to generating pressure. There was another potential portal hidden under the carpet. What are we going to do now? Yeah, but who knows if it's safe? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Agronico! Hurrah! The tachyon must have spread out in the near vicinity of the portal. There's a relatively high probability that they have opened up portals at Kuba. And how high is high? Having the clue. What, a thousand, maybe? And that's good? Relatively. The only chance that we're going to get, and also, what more than we really deserve. Ah, uh, speaking of which, I still have to take gold. That means to leap into the unknown without any guarantee of being able to return, and that's okay. No, I'd rather go get her right away. Goal! We did it! The guys and I have opened a time portal! Wow, well done. Don't be like that. I told you, I'll make it right again. And I told you, go away. Oh, come on, Goal. Take off the hat and... Hey, hands off! Uh, I do understand where you're coming from. After all, that palaver with the platypus puppet theater wasn't exactly subtle, was it? Puppet theater? Oh, that. that uh, yes, that was intentional. But look at them. They're both trapped, without any hope. I'll never be able to escape my hamster wheel. Wait, you think you're the platypus in the hamster wheel? Of course. That one is clearly female. Look at her, she... Ah. <laughs> I knew it! There is hope! Ah, you're right. It is the male. At least she's now free. Yes. Wow. Look how happy she is. She'll recover. On the other hand, one shouldn't overuse metaphors. Oh. What's this? Hey, give it back! <laughs> when did you do that? While you were gadding about the fairground. What about it? And you got past the Nova Man with that? Well, someone had to make sure that things could carry on. But then why are you so angry? Because we're not together in the photo? No, because we are. An illusion. A snapshot giving the wrong picture. Or do you think that at the end of the day, we'll be sticking that picture into our photo album? Everything here is going to have to end up being undone and reversed, so that we can save the world, so that there will be no few locks on Elysium. That's how it has to be. Right? No, it isn't. Then tell me one thing that will still remain of our adventures. If you can do that, then I'm happy to come. Huh. Easy. In the end, there's always one thing that remains. There. Look at that. Hitch crap? Oh! Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's go. What the? What now? That looks like that interim we crossed in the time pod. But where did this city come from? And where are Goal and McChronicle? They jumped through the portal right before I did. Hey, you! You lock! 
get off of my porch. Ah, a local. Can you tell me where I've landed? In my turnip patch. Wait a minute. Don't I know you? You're... you're... Glandula, the romantic ninja. Just old and ugly. How is that possible? Are you trying to talk your head off? Don't you mean, am I trying to talk your ear off? Not if I got my gun pointed right. Oh, 